Welcome back student. Today we are going to see the next topic like uh, how to uh, create the automation for the grammar. Okay. So here we have the grammar. Okay. Give the automation for the following grammar. S, 0 S, 1 A and 1. This is grammar and A. A is 0 A, 1 A, 0 and 1. How will you draw the automation for this? For this one. Let's see. Here, this is our example. So here, how many states we have here? Okay, first we will draw for the S. First we will draw for the S. What is S? S is 0 S and S is 1 A or S is 1. So this is about S only. Okay, whatever it is in the slash, I wrote it in the separate. And as you know, what is S here? What is S? S is a non-terminal. S is a non-terminal. That means you go further. You can work on it and you can go further. Okay. And what is uh, what is zero comma one? This is a terminals and this is capital A and small uh, capital A and capital S is a non-terminal and 0 and 1 is a terminal. Terminal means after that you cannot go further. You cannot, you have to stop there. You need to terminate, okay? Because of that, this is a terminal, okay? Fine. So now, here, I am taking, I am taking, how many states are there? One is S, another one is A. So let's draw the S first. S. Next is A. Next is A. So what is the first one? S on 0, where it is going, is going to S only. So, S on 0 is going to S only, okay. S on 0 is going to S only. Next, S on 1, where it is going, S on 1 is going to A. S on 1 is going to A, okay. And what is the next one? S is 1. 1 is nothing but this is like a epsilon. So we don't have any other state. So we need to create one state that is we can give any name. So I am giving Z, okay. And here from S is going to Z. Okay, for this is Z. So this is for production for S. What is this? Production for S, only S. Okay, now, now what is the next one? Next one is A. What is A? I am writing this A 0 A, A is 1 A, A is 0, A is 1, okay. So for this, you need to draw the uh, equation, okay. We need to draw the state diagram for this. So we can take this, whatever the S production, we will take as it is here, okay, S, A, Z, 
okay s a z and same as it is i will draw here is 0 and here it will be 1 and here it will be 1 so whatever is here the same draw i drawn here now i need to implement this grammar in this state okay in this state so how to state like when a a on 0 where it is going is going to a itself okay when a on 1 where it is going is going to a only okay so 0 comma 1 next a on 0 a on 0 where it is going is not defined here that means is going to the going to the some state that is already we have one state okay already we have one state in this we are going whenever it is 0 a on 1 a on 1 where it is going if it is not defined so we have another state 0 comma 1 okay so this is the conversion giving the automation for the grammar so this is production of a production of okay this is production production of a and this is production of s production of s so this is simple way we can take the grammar whatever it is like if we do not have any non terminal here so at the time we need to create any one of the state and that will be assigned to that state only ok so this is simple example I hope you understand this so we will take the another example we will take the another example this one consider the regular grammar g what is the grammar v t p s where v n a b s where v n a b s capital a capital b capital s this is non terminal this is q and what is a b this is you can say sigma or or t or t and p is a defined as this so we will do one thing we will i will copy this and paste there uh, otherwise i will write no issues what is this s of small a b so we will take example here example 2 okay this okay I will copy this. So, I will copy this and paste here, copy and paste here. So, now this is an example, okay. And with this grammar, we need to convert in the automation. How to do that? Simple way, okay. First, do the S production already here. This is a, this is a S production this one and this is a production and and this one is a <coughs> b production let's see let's draw first how many state s a and b okay a s a and b fine now so here a s b and fine so this is three states as we got so far so now the first one is s on a b is going to a so here s 
is going to A when A comma B, any one of this. Okay, next. S is going to B, this one. So, you need to check what is B. Whenever we have non-terminal here, so go to the non-terminal here and check what is A on S. A on S means S on A is going to S only. Okay. What is the third one? S is B A B means here is going to wait. I will do one thing. I will erase this. I will write B here. Okay. When S on B A is going to B. What is this? B comma A. B comma A is going to B. When S is on epsilon. So, where is the epsilon? So, for that reason, we need to create the another one. I am creating the Z. Okay. As we did here in the previous uh, previous uh, problem. In the same way, I am creating the Z and from S is going to Z some state on epsilon, on epsilon. Okay, next. Next is, we, how many finish? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, fifth one is A on B S, means A B S. So, A is on B is going to is going to S when it has B. A on B is going to S. And what is this B? B on A. B on A is going to S. B on A is going to S. And what is the last one? A is B. B means here also we do not have a state. So, here we will go to this state on B. When A on B, okay, we will go to some state. So, here I will explain you once again. Here, one, whenever we have a non terminal, whenever we have a non terminal, so, you directly go to the non-terminal and see what are the terminals are there and we need to draw here. And whenever you have a terminal, whenever you have a terminal, but you do not have a non-terminal with that, at that time, we need to create one extra state that should not uh, like, uh, that should be for the termination, any one of the state you can create. So, first we created S, A and B because S, B and A we got from the grammar. Okay, we got from the grammar. So, because of that we have taken, but the Z is extra. How did we, how we got that? Let us see here. S, first S is A, B on A, B is going to A. S, this is finished. A comma B is going to A. Fine. Now, S is B. S is B, we, we cannot travel from S to B directly because we need to write something. So, for that reason, what is S? S is S is B. Means B, what is B? S on A. Here we did the mistake. Okay. S on B. So, what is a B? A S. Oh, sorry. Uh, here, B A S means what is this? A on S only. A on S only. Okay. What is the next one? S is B A. B A B. 
So, what are the non terminals is B, what are the terminals is B A. So, S on B A is going to B, okay, is going to B. Next, S epsilon, epsilon means we do not have any other state. So, for that we have created here and we have given the connection to epsilon. Whenever S is on epsilon, it will go to some state, okay, fine. Next, S here, next one is S is finished, 1, 2, 3, 4, we finish. Now, A, A on B, A on B is going to S, A on B is going to S, next. B is A S, from B is going to A to S, from B is going on A to S, this is also finished. And the last one is, here the terminal is there, but it is not telling where should go, okay, where should go. So, for that reason, we have to give the B to the new state, okay. So, this is a simple way to generate, simple way to generate the NFA. Why it is NFA? Why it is NFA? Because, let us see here, when A is here, when A on B is going to S and A on B is going to Z. So, here both two are there and here also just check it out. S on A is going to S also, S on A is going to A, S on A is going to B also. So, because of that, if any one of numbers, okay, input symbols is repeating and going to different states, okay, at that time we will say the NFA, non-determinist state finite on automata. So, this is LM is equals to LG. So, whatever our grammar is there, that is, we completed here. I hope you understand this. This is very easy, okay. It will give this and tell you to write the, give the automation for the following grammar. So, at that time, you need to write this production of S and production of A, then you can mix one by one, is no issues, okay. So, here, we have constructed the NFA M in such a that, uh, that from grammar to automation NFA, okay. So, I hope you understand this and all this ALC classes is very important. If you miss any one of the class in the middle, you will not understand the next classes, okay, because this is very interrelated as I uh, told you, okay, first is regular, here like regular grammar, okay, finite automata, sorry. So, as I told you, in the first is a finite state, okay, finite state machine, then in the second circle, it will be CFL, context free language, then in the next circle, it will be turning machine, okay, and in the next is, is undecidable, sideable, okay. So, you can see in the first introduction class, the my first introduction class, in that you will find this diagram also, okay. So, this is about the construct uh, NFA from the grammar, okay, from the grammar. I hope you understand this. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next class. Thank you.